One week after a couple adopts triplets, their doctor gives them this incredible news. Life can and will throw you a curveball many times throughout your lifetime. This is particularly true in the case of Sarah and Andy, a couple from Tulsa, Oklahoma, who were desperately trying to be parents. After years of unsuccessful attempts at trying, the Justice family decided that it was time they considered adoption. However, much like their three long years of waiting to conceive, the adoption process would be just as long and frustrating. However, the couple persevered and they were given the chance to adopt not one baby, but three. However, once they adopted the triplets, something unbelievable and miraculous happened soon after. Sarah and Andy had been married for three years, and while they enjoyed their life together, they felt as though something was missing. The one thing they truly wanted was children of their own. It certainly wasn't for lack of trying. It was just that they weren't having the best of luck. However, after three years of waiting, it seemed as though they'd have to ask for a third party for help. So Sarah and Andy decided that it was time to ask for the advice of fertility experts. In 2014, the couple traveled from their comfortable home in Tulsa, Oklahoma to St. Louis, Missouri to seek out the help of a fertility specialist. The justices had driven six hours, and when they arrived, all they received was more bad news. The specialist told the frustrated couple that while the pair were perfect candidates for in vitro fertilization treatment, there was still only a 10% chance that they could become pregnant. The process was also more invasive than they were prepared to deal with. More than that, the entire process wasn't exactly a cheap one. As it turns out, the in vitro fertilization process cost a lot of money. It would cost the justices between thirty and $60,000. So between the very expensive cost and the low percentage that it could actually occur, the couple decided that it wasn't the right path for them. So the couple decided to move on to the next step, adoption. Even though adoption had some difficulties as well, it seemed like the next best option. For instance, the process of adoption can take years to finalize, and the justices were more interested in adopting newborn babies. Regardless, they were willing to do whatever possible in order to get a good outcome. They began with a series of interviews. As part of the adoption process, Sarah and Andy had to be interviewed by prospective birth mothers to help determine if they'd be fitting parents for their child. While the interviews were cordial and successful, they were extremely tiring and stressful for the Justice family. Unfortunately for the couple, their struggle to build their family wasn't over in the slightest. The Justices had finally been accepted as adoptive parents on two separate occasions following the interviews. In both cases, the birth mothers ended up changing their minds at the last second and decided not to follow through with it. So just when it seemed like things would go smoothly, they had to begin the process all over again. However, they weren't about to give up so easily. When the couple was at their lowest, they received a call that would change their lives. One of the expectant mothers had accepted them as parents. So they met with her again and they even went with her to an ultrasound appointment. During the scan, everything seemed perfectly normal. But there was one surprise that nobody in the room could expect. The woman was having triplets. Rather than just try and renegotiate the agreement, the justices decided to just move forward with the entire adoption and adopt all three children. The papers were signed and Sarah and Andy were about to become the proud parents of three beautiful newborn babies, something they weren't exactly prepared for. The situation actually ended up suiting the couple perfectly. They'd planned on having more than one child, but they were dreading on going through the adoption process a second time. It seemed they had the perfect situation. Three children all at once. They were ready to meet their newborn triplets. The babies, Hannah, Joel, and Elizabeth, were born in May of 2013. Life then threw another curveball at the family when the triplets were born eight weeks early. The tiny babies weighed only three pounds each, which meant they had to be kept in neonatal intensive care for quite a while before they could go home with their parents. A week after the baby's premature birth, Sarah Justice decided to go to a doctor's appointment one day as normal. The stress of the entire situation had been affecting her health and she wanted to make sure she was in top shape by the time her triplets came home. When the doctor came in, he gave Sarah the most unbelievable news. Sarah wasn't sick at all, she was pregnant. It was a miracle and not only was she just pregnant, but she was also having twins. Fate is a very odd thing, and so is life. While this amazing and highly unlikely occurrence would have felt like awful timing to many people, the justices were absolutely thrilled. 
The irony of the situation absolutely amused them, and they weren't prepared for the difficulty that would come with raising five children all under a year old. However, emotionally, Sarah and Andy were more than prepared. They were shocked, of course. Who wouldn't be? But they had been longing for a family of their own for so long that they couldn't help but feel the situation was quite a blessing. Soon they had welcomed their biological twins, Andrew and Abigail, into their home as well. Life with five kids was sure going to be a big adjustment. Of course, the situation wouldn't be an easy one. With five hungry kids, the couple didn't really sleep much during the first few months. Luckily, Sarah had had the help from their wonderful community and their family. Friends, neighbors, members of their parish, and many other members of the community all pitched in to help the family and the new parents of five. Members of Tulsa's Eastland Baptist Church began to send over food for the family as well. They'd sent cooked meals, frozen dinner, and baby formula. Their friends from the church even offered to help watch the five justice babies while the couple was away at work. And it wasn't just food that their family gave them. Tulsa donated diapers, bottles, blankets, and clothing to the Justice family. These supplies were sorely needed. The five infants ended up going through 300 diapers and 84 bottles every week. Since it was such a huge task to get the kids from place to place, the Justices had to buy a bigger van. Sarah and Andy had a little bit of a tough time telling the babies apart at first, even though there was an age difference. So to fix this, they came up with a system to tell them apart. The boys were easy, but for their older daughters, Hannah and Elizabeth, the parents used different colored toenail polish. The Justices soon became Internet celebrities. The story of the Justices ordeal immediately went viral, and in the three years that passed since the Justices became parents, they gained a very large following on social media. The world was constantly watching and looking at their great photos and updates about the kids. The couple who had thought they'd never be parents even welcomed a sixth child in January as of 2016. Even though their life is incredibly hectic, the justices say that they wouldn't change it for the world. Their lives have become all about the children, but they feel like it's a good thing. Sarah said, it was something we wanted so badly that we love it. We just really love having these children.